Welcome to Studio 863. I'm your host, Hollywood Jackson, and today I'm going to show you how to master a song using the IK Multimedia T-Rex 5. Alright, so we purchased the T-Rex 5, and the T-Rex 5 is a standalone mastering software. Now, when I purchased this, I did not know that. And so I have just been tinkering with it and playing around with it. And this thing is actually pretty awesome. And so today I'm going to show you how to master a song with it. All right. So basically what you do is you just pull your song into the, uh, into the list down here. And I always use the loud and clear master. If you'll go down to the legacy section. And next, what I'll do is I will set this as a digital delivery master because places like iTunes and Spotify, um, iTunes only accepts a digital delivery master. So you want to check that. Now, I use the loud and clear master because it has the master match on the end of this thing. Now, what the master match is, is you can actually bring in a reference track. The master match has a section within it. It's already got some presets. All right, so what you do with the master match is you play your track, you hit learn, source, and you let it listen to the song for just a few seconds. And then you click learn, source again, and you click on match. And when you click on match, it will model the EQ as you had it set for your reference track. And so I like this feature because you can really dial in your final mix. And so it's perfect for having that loud master. What I'm going to show you next is how to set up your metadata within the T-Rack. And all you do is you go to song title and you type in your song title. You go over to album artist and if you'll type in your album artist it will also change in the artist name and then the only thing you have left is to click on the album title and install the album title and of course you want to put the uh, the date and if you have the if you have your UPC code you can put that in warning please turn down your audio now This T-Rack 5 is awesome. Uh, when you incorporate it with the master match, it's even better. Um, I've also used the the one device that is on here as well, and that is that is a very good one if you're just really cleaning up some older tracks. The uh, master one is probably one of the best. I use the loud and clear on newer stuff just because I like the setup. There's just so much more. You can tinker and tweak with it much more with the loud and clear. And that's the reason it's my favorite. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and click on that like button while you're at it. Reach over and hit that subscribe button too. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below or just send us an email. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching.